Hey guys, welcome back to the program. Welcome back to the D Time Love Show. And today I've got a very interesting video. I've got an unboxing of a brand new release from AK. That stands for Atowak. It means unique. A company from Hong Kong. A brand that you will be very surprised how good they really are. And off the back of the feedback I got from the BQ Watch Show and people from the globe around the world, their feedback has been amazed by the product and what they offer, the complications at their price. But technology has evolved and I'll talk about that throughout the video. But let's unveil the brand new AK Tarantula. But before we do that, Let's have a look what's on the wrist today. And today I'm sporting the AK Cobra guys, a very cool watch indeed. Uh, what can I say? Very drive motorsport orientated. And as you can see in the background there, we have a Bugatti Chiron with another AK Cobra, the carbon black. And we'll also talk about some of their other models in the video today. But let's unbox the brand new release, the AK Tarantula that comes in at just under 1800 pounds sterling for 2023 drum roll let's pop the box open and you're you're basically greeted straight away by a very nice glossy box let's just get this open but before we do that it also comes with a very very nice rubber strap as well with a good deployment class a solid deployment class very nice indeed so you get two straps with this as well which is good to know but let's have a look at the watch itself let's pop the box open and there you have it guys let's take a closer look this is an unboxing not a full-on review i'll do an ownership review to give you guys an insight to how the watch fares over the next few months but first of all, what do you notice, guys, in comparison to their other models? It is a lot more slim, a lot more slender. And what that means is the dimensions of this watch can make it a daily wearer. Not saying the other pieces can't be used as a daily wearer, but if you look at the AK Cobra, it's far more imposing. This is not a watch that you can wear under the cuff. This is very much a watch to be noticed as where this is a little bit more stealth. Don't get me wrong, it's visually very, very pleasing to the eye. But let's go through the specifications of this particular timepiece. Now, case diameter, you'll be interested to know, is 42 millimeters. Bandwidth is 22 millimeters. And the case thickness is 13 0.5 millimeters and lug to lug you're looking at 49 millimeters it very much has a cushion case but let's change perspective and really get in detail and in depth in regards to this very cool timepiece and straight away you can see that honeycomb cobweb underneath those satellite free hour wandering arms that are basically being designed with carbon and mate, it is absolutely, this thing is out of this world. I have to say, let's change perspective and have a closer look at the piece in hand. Let's take a closer look at the watch. Let's get a little bit closer. Let's zoom in to see what's on offer here. And straight away, guys, look at the three hour wandering arms, the hand set up. So if you look at the center there, you could say that it's the second hand ticking away there very cool indeed but if you look at it's got an aluminium finish and the actual what holds the hands if you can call them that if you want to call them hands um you can see the aluminium and the carbon construction of the piece look at this very nice indeed but you're probably wondering those of you who are not familiar with this brand um it very much is inspired by Urwerk, you know, the way they produce their complications. Now, if you look at the 10 there, let's just scroll down. Now, that is the hour wandering arm. And if you go there and you have a look here, look at this, guys. Click on that there. So the time is 30 minutes past 10. Very easy 
to tell the time, no matter what angle. So you can be driving, holding your watch on the steering wheel, and it's very easy to tell the time, very easy. Um, look at the layered construction of the dial, very cool indeed, and that cobweb finish as well. 13.5 millimeters thick, so a lot more wearable, a lot more user-friendly, and this will appeal to a lot more people. And the mere fa fact that it is, this watch is lugless as well, guys. So it wears on the wrist very well. You know, Seiko SKX is 48 millimeters. This is 49, and it wears fantastic. Only 42 millimeters in terms of case diameter. Sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. Very cool rubber strap. The quality on this is fantastic. I'm not underestimating this. I'm not over exaggerating this, but a very solid deployment clasp as well. Very cool indeed. You've got easy release spring bars on this watch. We'll take a look. It comes with a red um, strap as well. Let's have a look at the, the movement. Oh, that rotor looks very cool indeed. Look at the rotor. Very cool. I like the way they've done that. Look at that. Now, what is this watch hosting? What movement does it host? So it hosts the Miyota 9039, which is heavily modified. Now, most people, when they hear the word Miyota, they cringe. You know, there's a lot of like, you know, a bit of snobbery about it all in terms of when it comes to movements. But put it this way, the Miyota 9 Series 039 is used in Citizen's signature range that they charge normally close to a a thousand pounds plus sterling and the reason for that is it's one of the more refined movements you some will say it's their equivalent of a 28 24 now put it this way if the swiss were to allow ak to use a 28 24 it would have obviously cost a lot more but i think they'd be in trouble because they would have produced a complication that module they've designed on top is very much a movement in itself and how has technology changed over the years guys you know let's be honest when i bought let's say let's compare it to tvs i bought a 4k tv around 10 years ago um and they were he really expensive you're looking at two three thousand pounds sterling now you can pick up a 65 inch samsung 4k tv for i don't know 750 pounds 800 pounds sterling and it's the same with urwork where this complication first was created they created this free hour wandering arm system which is a great complication and the innovation but what's happened with technology over the years and especially what the asian brands can do now is that they can produce pretty much any complication they want and also produce it at a very good standard and quality now this is not going to be handmade i would have thought but they've got the machinery and the tools to produce something at the quality that you would make you think twice about spending your money on such high value pieces. So don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with Erwax. I'm a big fan of Erwax in general. I think they're very cool watches. But what AK have done, they've brought you a complication at a very, very affordable price for what it is. 1,800 pounds, just under 1,800 pounds sterling is not necessarily cheap by any means. But what you're getting on the wrist for me is something very, very special indeed. Let's check out the loom on this bad boy. How cool is this guy's water cool piece? And let's take a look how this watch looks on my little special show reel, guys. First impressions. Well, where do you start with this timepiece? Let's talk about AK as a brand. Um, well, they stand for unique a brand from Hong Kong and I've seen it with Sega design with the blue planet that won the GPHG, the quality of the pieces they're putting together. And I think this is a brand from Asia, Hong Kong, another brand that has to be noticed. Now um, they're producing watches of very good quality from start to finish from the packaging to the sapphire crystal anti-reflective coatings to the finishing of the cases from the quality of their rubber straps Everything about the layer dull, that cobweb, honeycomb dull, you can see that there, that black, the carbon fiber and aluminium uh, finish on the actual handsets, if you can call them that. Now, the tarantula presents really a comprehensive display of Atawax satellite wandering hour wheel. 
which is perched on that memorizing cobweb dial, as you can see there, guys. And it comes with, I believe, in three colorways. So you've got the red, the blue, and the green. And it's kind of electric. I mean, it's something different. Those of you who are not familiar with where work, these watches cost extremely a hell of a lot of money from two hundred thousand pounds plus sterling for the latest works as such and they've been around a long time and as technology has improved so has watch manufacturing and it's given the opportunity for brands like ak to bring to you something that isn't cheap by any means um, for a micro brand you could say but they're giving you a complication design of their own yes they they've used the complication and they've implemented that but they've given it its own look and style i love that handset that satellite display or three hour wandering hour wheel is very cool indeed i love the colorways they've done the red the green the blue really cool and most important i love that rubber strap i love the fact that it comes with two rubber straps the black and the red whatever takes your fancy easy release uh, spring bar very good quality check this out guys and looking at the rest of the range there's got something i think now for everybody in the range this is what you could call ak's most versatile piece in the collection and for me that becomes pretty much you know, one of its main main you know flagship models for me i would say because it brings you at a price point where you can wear it as a daily watch but gives you that very cool complication and quality that i'm struggling to think of a watch brand that will give you a complication at this price point with this quality it is pretty much the full package this piece as well, you can argue with the other pieces they're not for everybody um very different very motorsport orientated look at the ak cobra with the bugatti there um, but let's have a look at the um, Atore Drift. Look at the design cues of the Bugatti. Look at the grille, the shape of the design of the case. You can see where they take their inspiration from. And they're also bringing you watches with a, you could call a very um, exclusive, um, innovating complication at a price point which is attainable. It's not going to break the bank. It is an expensive piece, but if you've been dreaming of buying a watch with this complication and you don't want to get a cheap knockoff, this is what you could say a real three hour wandering arm satellite complication that you can be proud of and a real conversational piece. If I was being overly critical, you know, like like I said, this is design is not for everybody. It's for people that are into the automotive like me. I love cars, time to drive. And I'll leave you some clips of the watch in natural sunlight and in the car. It just looks in its element. It just looks very fitting in its element there and its surroundings. It really much is an automotive watch. Very easy to tell the time. You just look up while you're holding your steering wheel and you can tell the time at a glimpse. Guys, leave your comments below. I'll be intrigued to find out what your thoughts are in regards to this particular timepiece. And guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.